Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new 7 Days to Die series. Uh, this one I've called Tales from the Crypt. I say this one, this is my first one. So, thank you for checking this out, thank you so much. And um, I'll do my best to make it exciting. So, the settings we're going for is uh, Horde Every Night. And um, I want to set up in the crypt. Um, I just gotta find it first. I can't remember where it is on Navisgan. I've got a horrible feeling it's actually in the snow biome, which is just over there. So, hey, not too bad. Not too bad for the spawn. But yeah, so we're going with Horde every night. Um, it's a permadeath series, so when we die, season ends. I'm hoping for my first YouTube series that uh, we can we can at least get a couple of episodes done before I die. That'd be nice. So, I'm going to head on north. Um... Do I want to go north here? No, I think I want to go north um, into the Snow City. I don't remember what it's called. Is it Perishton? Okay, well, i tell you what. I'm going to get these starter quests done. We're going to head towards Perishton. And then uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we're there. If anything exciting happens between now and then, I'll be sure to add it in. Oh, uh, just, I've just seen where we've spawned. So this is a pass, the passing gas and the electrical store, and that leads into Dyersville. So we could not be further away. We're on the far, like, kind of, yeah, yeah, we can't go any further on the map. We need to go, like, all the way over to the other side of the map and then up. So this is going to be a pretty long first day of... God damn it. Come here. Ow! Come on, take the torch. Good old tap with the torch. Oh, you're on fire! Let's go. Alright. Well, I guess I've got one hell of a walk ahead of me, so I'm going to keep running, and uh, like I guess I'll catch up with you guys if anything exciting happens. Which, um... I don't think it is. So, I've just got to this working stiff tools, and I'm thinking I probably want to hit this place up very quickly because we could use the materials to to um, to start getting the base sorted out for tonight. I mean, there's I, there's loads of cobblestone in there and cement mix. I kind of want that. I need to finish these uh, these starter quests first, so I'll just get these done. I'm gonna put this skirt on. There you go. So, let's get these starter quests done. I'm going to go in here, we're going to hit this working stiff tools up, and then we're going to head on over to uh, to the crypt, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get there today. I don't really want to be fighting the horde on the foot tonight, even though it is the one day one horde, so it's probably not going to be too bad. Maybe, maybe like two or three zombies. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, I think I've accidentally woken up a couple of zombies in the surrounding area. Now I've got the uh, the default speed set to jog because I think walk is just too easy. So, oh, damn it. What I'm gonna do is try and wake up like everything. And we'll round it all up and, and you know, just, just chop away at them. All right, come outside everybody. Come on, you go. You can be first. There we are. A couple of taps to the old face. Oh my goodness. There we are. Is he dead? This stone axe probably isn't isn't my number one choice. Okay. Oh, God damn it! Got a hit on me. Grab some of this wood. So I may have I'm I may have misjudged how many was in there. And I don't have anything that's gonna AoE these guys down. We have no grenades, no molotovs. God damn it. A stone axe.
And it's half past ten already. We haven't even gone in. I'm starting to think this was a little bit of a mistake. Uh, do I just run here? Okay, here we go. Wooden club. Let's go. There we go. All of them, all of them down. Okay, well we ain't gonna mess with him. Let's just get in. Okay, we've got a wiring tool, that's gonna help when we start getting an electric put in. Now I think this guy outside has heard us. But I'm not too worried. Yeah, he's coming in. We got a pistol on day one. Oh, that's fantastic. Of course, in the toilet, most definitely. Number one place to find your pistol. We got no ammo, but maybe we can just scare them by holding it. Hello. There we are. Are you coming in? I'll tell you what, I'll come out if that's easier. Come on, fella. No, okay, okay, come on. Out. Right, in or out, what would you like to do? Where would you like this to happen? Go. We've got a claw hammer on day one as well. Wow. I'm, I mean, even if we leave this place now with nothing, nothing else apart from these, I'm happy. You know, that's a good find. Two claw hammers, three claw hammers. We can get some workbenches going. And this is beautiful. But we need to get a shovel made. Uh, what am I missing? Stone. Stone. I believe there's some stone in here. Yeah, just here. Okay, there we go. That's a good start on the stones. Now, let's get a shovel going. I'm going to grab the rest of this material quickly. We'll grab the main loot and we'll get out of here and we'll keep on uh, heading towards the crypt. So that's the the kind of, I don't know what you'd call this, like the, uh, the storage area? I don't know. But anyway, completely cleared out. That's all of the, the supplies grabbed. And uh, now just to get this main loot, which is in here. Now I could go around out the back and kill all the zombies. Um, but it's already 2pm. And uh, got quite a while still to run. So I am, I'm just going to... I guess smash this this uh, this wall down, and we'll jump in there. I think the easiest way to get in is technically through this, because you only have to break one block and a bit of glass. But if we go out there, we're going to be fighting a load of zombies. Let's have a look at this. This shouldn't be too bad. All right, let's break this down. Let's get in. Uh, 
All right, we're through. Now let's see what we get in here. Let's just repair everything before we go in any further. Now I'm hoping for some nine millimeter rounds. Okay, here they come. So yeah, we're hoping for some nine millimeter rounds in uh, in this chest. Maybe let's grab this chest first. Uh, yeah, we got eight. Awesome. Oh shit! Uh, pick them up. There we go. There it is. Okay, I'm not gonna use it on this one guy. Oh damn it! All right. Anyone else up there? Okay. Well, let's just let's just grab this stuff. Let's just get out. Oh. Fuck, Matt, that jumped out on me. Okay. Stay down. Oh, these damn blocks. <laughs> okay, hold on. There we go. Alright, what do we got? Uh, okay, yeah. Take that. Tier 2 shovel, that's, that's a start. We've got everything from the chest. Hold on, I got some armor, right? Yeah, um, where? Um, screw it, let's put, a, let's put the cowboy hat on. And we'll scrap the skirt, scrap the lead. Yeah, I think this will do for now. Oh, here we go, chest armor. Where? I knew I got some chest armor. There it is. I don't want to be too encumbered when we're running over to where we got to be. Um, we're at quarter past three already. A little bit worried about that. Um, okay, normally I'd take the paintbrush, but we don't need that just yet. So I'll take, we'll scrap that. We'll take the polymers. It's all about these rank two stone shovels at the moment. I mean, we'll take both of the uh, the forges, uh, the the anvils. Maybe we'll uh, we'll get two forges set up as soon as we can. Speed up production of um, whatever the fuck we're gonna make. Because uh, what is with these tier two shovels? I've got. I've, I've looted about six. <laughs> okay. Um, last one. Last one. I'm going to take a guess that there's a tier two shovel in here. Oh, you piece of shit. Okay, well, we'll take the, one of the tier, tier two axes. There we are. All right, is that everything? Awesome. Okay, we're definitely worth the stop. Let's just have a quick look if there's anything that I can throw on the floor because we're quite badly encumbered right now. I like to keep this even though it doesn't do anything. It's just a sentimental value. So we'll get rid of the, one of the irons. Let's modify with the pocket armor mod here. Um, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, the feather can go, the lead. Uh, anything else? Uh, crossbow bolts. Okay, so we're only six encumbered now. That's that'll do. I mean, I guess we can make another bed roll when we get there, right? If I get this right out. Okay, let's go. So no wrench, but oh wait, wait, did we check under the sink in here? Is there a sink? Oh, there is. No wrench. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's have a quick look in here as well. Is there any, any food? No, nothing. All right, let's go. We got, um, let's think, two and a half minutes per hour in game. We've got six hours left. That is 15 minutes, unless I unless I math that completely wrong. We've got 15 minutes to get to the crypt. Uh, we've got to we've got to clear clear it out, kill all the zombies, and. Uh, and then just get it set up for tonight. And I got 15 minutes to do that in. I don't think we're even going to be there in 15 minutes. So, do you know what? We'll see how it goes. This could be the shortest season yet. Well, I say shortest season yet. It's my first one. I do I do stream a lot um, of, of Permadev series. But this is my first one for YouTube. So, it feels like we've done this a lot of times before. But this is the first one. I'm kind of sat here alone talking to myself. And uh, I'll tell you what, guys. Streaming and recording videos for YouTube's uh, for YouTube completely different. It's 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 weird, you know. Just sat here talking to myself. You know, I, I'm not looking at chat or anything like that. It's it's yeah, it's an odd one. It's odd. I'm uncomfortable. But 
I'd like to do this more. You know, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to make some more YouTube videos. I quite enjoy the editing process. Um, the idea of editing videos for me is an absolute nightmare. But once I've kind of settled down and I've started it and I got into the run of things, I quite enjoy it. So my editing isn't great, so I do apologise if it comes through and it looks like a part of shit. But you know, I'll do my best. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's uh, let's keep going. If I do stop and do anything stupid again, like the uh, the working stiff tools and waste five in-game hours, then uh, I'll be sure to let you guys know. All right, see you on the other side. So coming into this town now, I've kind of got another stupid thing going on in my mind, and that ah oh, yes, damn it. Damn it, I saw it too late. God damn. Is it too far gone? I don't wanna I don't really wanna waste bullets on it. I'll tell you what, we're gonna have to. Okay, it was only the one. Only the one bullet, that's fine. Okay, let's get some meat. We're gonna be eating good tonight. What was I saying? Alright, yeah, so coming into this town here, I know of a house over the right hand side where the uh, the main loot room is just in the uh in the in the garage or the the shed, just kind of out the front. So we'll just bust that door down. There's only two zombies in there. We'll grab the loot and we'll we'll keep moving. So although we are incredibly encumbered after picking that stuff up, I've got two wiring tools. Wait, how much do they sell for? Forty. No, let's scrap it. There we go. Um, keeping a hold of the lead pipe. We need that for the lead pipe. Sorry, we're playing Cluedo all of a sudden. <laughs> Um, I'm keeping hold of the, the iron pipe for the um, uh, the forge. I need three of these to, for the forge. And without a wrench, it's it's difficult getting hold of the lead pipes. The fucking iron pipes! God damn it, I'll get the hang of it, guys. Look at this piece of shit chicken right here. Alright, now do I have any bones? Yes. Let's make ourselves a bone knife. Let's get some more meat. Now, now I've got the bone knife. I'm gonna scrap the uh, the club because for me the bone knife is just so much better. It's quick. It doesn't use as much stamina, and it leaves bleed damage. So it's it's really a no-brainer to take the bone knife. I mean, I think you've got to get a little bit closer. I don't really know quite how the range thing works. Hey, some more lock picks. How many of these we got now? Six lock picks, brilliant. Okay, so let's bust this door open, let's get in, let's get the loop, and get out. There they are. Let's give them a little jabby jab. Beautiful, so that should be all of them. Level two. So I'll, spell, I'll spend some skill points when we get, when we get there. Um, cobblestone. I want this cobblestone. Alright, I'll grab this quickly. So, we're actually making better time than I thought. It's 6 p.m. already. Um, I, I think, honestly, if we hadn't stopped at the working stiff, we'd have made it to the crypt tonight easily. We may still make it. Uh, I think we got like 10 minutes. Well, that's an ominous, that ominous sign. We all know what that means. We've got a horde coming soon. Oh, we got some steroids. Okay. We'll pop one of them. That's going to give us better run speed. We won't be encumbered. That should help us get to uh, where we got to be much quicker. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, no longer encumbered. Bit of a faster run speed. Evil chicken again. Uh, okay, I've got to ignore the chickens. Gotta ignore that piece of shit chicken. Okay, so it's 7 p.m. now already. We've got seven and a half minutes. Um, realistically, realistically, we're not getting there in time. So, by the looks of it, tells from the crypt episode one is not <laughs> not even gonna be in the crypt, but. You know, it's uh, hopefully it's been relatively eventful for you guys. The 
the second episode will be a lot better. You know, the first episode, spawning in, doing your starter quests, getting to where we're going to set up, um, and then, uh, you know, fighting off the first horde. It's, it's tricky when it spawns me the furthest away that I could have possibly have been from the, uh, from where I wanted to be. Actually, no, it could have put me in the desert biome over on the far uh, eastern side of the map, but you know, at least it was nice and put me in the in the forest biome. But we need to get here quickly. This has been a real pain in the dick. Come on. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna hold the horde uh, for day one. Is uh, I'm gonna have to make some kind of makeshift bridge base. Terrible idea because they they just don't work. Um. But I'm just kind of hoping that we don't have a lot show up. And how much wood have I got? 132. We're going to make some spikes. Put some wood frames down. And we're just going to try and hold them here. Because uh, we are out of time. It's it's getting red out there. It's getting red. And uh, I, am, uh, I am out of time. So let's get some trees cut down. And um, let's, uh, let's, let's hope we can hold them here. Okay, well, <laughs> this is it for uh, <laughs> for night one. Let's start with the uh, the iron arrows. Can I make some more? No. Uh, yes, yeah, so I can make some stone arrows. Okay, let's get those done. Oh man. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> we got about one minute twenty. This is <laughs> the worst. <laughs> The worst I could have hoped this season to have started. Stood on a bridge with 12 spikes and a torch. There we go. Um, well, I hope we survive because I kind of have a lot of plans for this season. But, I don't know. I mean, if they all come at me, if they say if they all come from here and they break through those spikes, then these spikes, if anything, are going are gonna to sandwich me in. They're going to they're gonna pin, pin me in. I didn't think I didn't think this through properly. Any second now. I'm a little bit nervous. I'll be honest. Uh, okay, one. I see one, two, three. <laughs> this might be completely anticlimactic. Wait, are they beating on the bridge? Oh, no, here you go. Okay, those spikes did not last very long. Leave the bridge alone. shot. Is that it? <laughs> I think that was it. I did say two or three zombies for the first horde night and I think I think that's what we got. Well, it's always difficult with these horde every night series because the first one is um is normally really really quiet. Bit of an anticlimax there. But what we're going to do, guys, is um, before we go any further, I want to do this at the end of every episode. Is we're just going to, once we've survived the horde, we're going to sit there and we're going to spend our skill points. What what do I want to uh, what do I want to start leveling up? Let's have a look. Now, obviously, we're going to need a forge, um, and we're going to need a workbench pretty quick as well. But I guess until we find a wrench, then uh, the workbench isn't going to help us too much. So let's go with the forge first. I want to put a couple of points into intellect because I want to unlock the mini bike. So four, that's going to give us the mini bike. Now I believe I need the workbench to make the mini bike. Um, 
So I guess that's what we're doing. There we go. So next two skill points we're going to put into Bicycle Mechanic and then Mini Bike Master. We'll get ourselves a vehicle. Uh, that's going to speed things up. Okay, yeah, so thank you very much for watching the video. It means a lot to me. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Be sure to check me out on uh, on Twitch, on Twitter. Links are below. Uh, I, fo I, fo <laughs> um, I guess I'll follow all gamers back. Uh, we're going to go full Glock 9 here. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, um, feel free to drop us a follow, I'll follow all games back, and, uh, hello fella. <laughs> and, um, yeah, guys, take it easy. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.